Hi, welcome to this video on FTP protocol, the backbone of file transfers over the internet. FTP, or file transfer protocol, is a set of rules and conventions that govern how files are transferred between a client and a server on the internet. FTP protocol operates at the application layer of the OSI model. This is the seventh and topmost layer, responsible for user interface and application level functions. FTP uses a client server model, where the server acts as a repository for files, and the client can establish connections to perform various operations such as downloading, uploading, deleting, and listing directories. FTP operates exclusively over TCP and establishes two types of connections between client and server, a control connection and a data connection. The control connection is established by the client on port 21 and is used to send essential information such as user ID, password, and commands like changing directories or requesting files. After receiving the necessary control information, the server initiates a data connection to the client on port 20. This data connection is responsible for transferring the actual files from the server to the client. FTP uses various commands to interact with the server, including get to download files, put to upload files, ls to list directory contents, and CD to navigate folders. The problem with the FTP is that it's not secure because it sends data, including usernames and passwords, in plain text over the internet, making it vulnerable to interception by hackers and unauthorized access. This lack of encryption means that sensitive information can be easily exposed during file transfers. To ensure the security of your data, it's essential to consider more secure alternatives like SFTP and FTPS, which encrypt your information, keeping it safe from eavesdropping. First, there's SFTP or SSH file transfer protocol. SFTP keeps your files safe by using encryption during transfers. It works on one port, usually port 22. Now, let's talk about FTPS, FTP Secure. FTPS adds security to regular FTP using SSL or TLS encryption. It can use two ports, one for control and another for data. That's all for this video. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video.